Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the use state hook in React. And this tutorial is pretty basic. It's nothing advanced, really. It's for someone who's just getting started with React and trying to figure out how this thing works. So here I just launched a blank React app in my browser. All I'm really doing here is outputting the hello there message. So every time you want to use a hook in React, first you have to import it. So I'm going to go ahead and type import brackets use state from react and so now that we have imported the use state hook from react we are ready to start using it in our app now to create a new state variable you're going to start by defining a const with square brackets now inside these brackets think about the name for your state object in this case i'm going to use number so i'm going to type number and to make it a use state object i'm going to assign it to the use state hook and in parentheses here i'm going to specify its default value so we have just set the number to 100 to output this value in our react component just type it in brackets anywhere in your component so i'm going to type it here i'm going to save this file and it will automatically refresh in the browser and as you can see, we are outputting number, which is currently set to 100. Now, one common mistake you don't want to commit, because this is a state variable, you can't change it by hand directly. Like here, for example, I set it to 200 and it actually broke my React app. Now, let's go back for a moment and we're going to add a function called set number inside this hook. Now, this is the function that will allow us to properly change this value so i'm going to use use state again and assign the number to 100 by default so here once again i'm going to output the number in my component but in order to change it properly in react i'm going to do something different this time i'm going to create a button and on top of my return value here i'm going to create a function called increase and it's going to be an arrow function and inside here, I'm going to use the set number method that we added to the use state hook before. So I'm going to use set number and I'm going to use number plus one as a value that I'm going to pass to that function. This will increase the number by one every time this function is called. So now if I go down to the button and now I can add this function into the on click event attribute and inside the brackets just type the name of the function without parentheses and now in my react app every time i click on the increase button you will see that increase function being called and changing the number so guys this is the workflow for creating state objects with use state and changing them in the react